Okay guys, so part one is done. So just for a reminder, we want something like this. Okay, at the end, we have the first part. So logo and navbar. We want to tackle that really big section now. So the news, the most important news around the world description, and also that divider also with an icon in, in the middle. So let's do it. Let's reduce that. So this is what we have. Let's, let's go full screen, okay? And let's go to the code. So this is our app.js file. So let's take, let's just take an eye on it. We want something at the end like this. Okay, spotlight, the, comp the component will be here. And this is going to be the new architecture, all right? But first we need to create this. So let's go to component, um, new folder, spotlight.js, uh, spotlight. And inside we want an index file. We want the actual JSX component, spotlight, spotlight, and we want the style, the, yeah, the file for the style. So spotlight.style.js, okay? Let's do a simple function. Um, let's replace the first letter by an uppercase, okay? And let's just do news. Um, let's see here if we can import it over here and obviously export it, Ooh, not parentheses, but this, um, spotlight. Let's go to app now, oops, sorry, okay, app.js, and we want to be able to use it now, spotlight, um, okay. Let's go back. Oh, we have an error. Cannot file index.js. Okay, this is app. So I think I know. So let's let's take a look at the path. Okay, spotlight. Oh, what is this? Okay, so okay, that would okay, that could be true. Okay, but I did not name the file like this. So let's just use it like that. And this is supposed to work. Okay, so now we have everything is linked. So everything is working. We can go on. Okay. So let's go back to the code. Let's go back to the actual component itself and let's add everything we need. We are going to have a class name Spotlight, not Spotlight, but Spotlight uh, section. Okay. Inside, we are going to have a title, which is going to be news. Um, okay. And we want a second thing. So it's not going to be, uh, it's not going to be actu an actual div, it's going to be just directly a um, paragraph. So, okay. Um, and let's call it a description for the class. And then the most important news in the world. Just like that. Okay, let's see if it's working. It is. Okay, we have our two section. Um, we are going to make that part uppercase um so let's uh, let's just dive right into the style now um um we want to use the style component again um uh, oh, let's just import style right let's see if it's working if i just do styled yeah um so again export const same name container uh, let's do style.div and we want to link our first class so it was spotlight um, section I think um, let's take a look first spotlight section yes and um, the spotlight section should be display flex we are going to use again the flex box um, flex direction everything will be Vertical, so in colon, colon, oh, that's my bad, okay. And we want to center everything, so we're going to use align items. This is going to center um, horizontally. Okay, let's see. It's not working. I know why it's not working. Same error every time. I need to use the actual style component I created. Import. Um, what did I name the style container? 
Um, yeah, okay, from, okay, is it working? It is working now because it's centered, all right, but we need some padding at the top. Mm -hmm. Over here, padding top, no, I said top. Let's do 50 pixel. Um, yeah, it's enough. So now let's tackle the actual title and description part. So title, let's do um, font size. And we want a really big one <laughs> like that. So basically the font family of this is from the whole app. All right, I think it is monospace. So if I do, let's, let's try something. And if it's not working, we're gonna, we're gonna tackle at the end. If I do none, it is actually removing the style we add as a base, as a base um, from the whole app. So it looks definitely better like this. So uh, we are just gonna use this, the font family none for this this one, okay? And we want that part to be the same font family as the logo or the navbar items, okay? I keep swiping to the left. Um, so let's tackle the description part. We want the font size to be 20 pixels. And we want, like I said, the font family to be used um, with, the, with the theme. Theme. So it's going to be props. This props.theme. Um, I don't remember. It was, I think, um, font. Yeah, in primary, I think. Yes, it is working. Um, what do we need then? Oh, yeah, I said I want everything to be uppercase. Okay, so let's just do... <laughs> sorry, I keep swiping to the left. Um, text transform. Uppercase. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. So now I think we are good to tackle the divider part. So let's do it. Um, let's actually add some, yeah, something here. So we want a container for the whole divider section. So there are going to be multiple dividers. So let's do divider containers, dividers container. Okay. And there is going to be Mm hmm so one divider two actually okay so um and we don't so basically we don't need to be like an open div with something inside we just want something like this we want two so like this and we want icon container which is going to actually contain an icon for now i'm just going to art code it art code icon to style everything and yeah let's do some styling for that part. Um, okay, op, op this, and we want the width to be 100% for the parent. Okay, and this is the parent. We want to have everything aligned horizontally, so display flex, and we want everything to be centered everywhere. So align, uh, let's do justify content center. Sorry, and align items center. Okay. Um, yeah. So we don't see every, uh, we don't see anything um, about the divider section. Okay. So we just have the icon. But if I take a look at the element itself, we should see um, something. Okay. So let's take a look at this. So if we open the divider container section, you can see that it is here, right? But we just haven't styled it yet. So we need to add some some width, some height, and some yeah, some background color so we can see something. Okay, but it, it is working. It is definitely there. Okay, so let's remove that. Let's go back to the code and let's tackle. I'm gonna just scroll it a little bit. Divider. So like I said, some height. Two pixel is way more than enough. Um, the background color is really important. I think we are going to use again the theme. So same thing. Props our function props dot theme dot. I think that was like colors. 
dot background dot light black I need to double check that um let's go to theme colors background light black yeah all right so spotlight style um and obviously if we don't if we don't add some width it's not gonna work so 35 percent because we have two of them and at the middle we have the icon so we don't want it to be like way too large um what did i do okay yeah that's nice um it is nice but this is definitely not the icon we want to use so we are going to import an icon from basicon and try to style it a little bit okay so let's try to import the icon which is called i think diamond no model diamond oh oh i don't remember uh yeah it's model diamond uh, from Basicon uh, React, oh sorry, React Basicon, yes is it working if I do this? so this is a component itself, so that should work like that yes it is, okay I don't like to use the big name like this, so let's do um, icon for now it's just going to be one icon for that component so it's fine if I call it icon um, the icon is way too big though so size um, I think 16 would be okay yeah definitely okay um, I don't know if you can spot it but this is not aligned like the line is way too low if you compare the middle of the, the icon itself so we need to style that and to add some margin on the left and the right so let's do it um what is the name of the yeah, icon container okay okay um display flex and um if i do so i want it to be centered like um vertically right so it's gonna be align items center Ooh, sorry and yeah and now I need to add some padding on the left and on the right so what I can do is you can just do margin okay and you can just do zero and then we want three pixel okay and that's it this is exactly what we want okay hey guys I hope you enjoyed this video uh, next time we're gonna attack one of the most interesting part of the project I think which is a uh, setting up the articles with the cards um, so yeah um, do not hesitate to add some comments in the section and uh, I hope I will see you next time cheers